Okay, so over the past three months I've become a digital hoarder. So this person that basically makes a bunch of stuff but never shares any of it. And I want to get out of that mode. Uh, I used to share everything and you know, I thought you know, it, that's a really good way to go. Um, uh, I, I dig the sharing thing because people out there could use potentially what you made. No matter if you think it's frivolous or not useful, trust me, there's a lot of not useful things that I found on YouTube that were actually really freaking useful. And the person just, you know, talked about it and spent some ideas. So this is me sharing some of my stuff that I've been developing for the past three months. And one of the ones, one thing that I've, I've developed is a wire wrapping. Okay, so I needed to be able to count the wire wraps going around um, a solenoid. And I've been using these bobbins as little tiny solenoids for projects. And one of the projects is this, this base. Okay, you can see the little solenoids right there. And those things pop up a little thing that hits the guitar or the bass string. So, in order to get started with something like that, I needed to be able to wire wrap. Alright, so what I developed is first off, uh, here's the Arduino, here's the resistors and everything else, and I'll release the whole circuit. Uh, basically, when you hit the button, it sends it back to zero. And let's see if I can kind of show this. Hold on, I'm working left-handed here. No video editing, please. Okay, so you can see these zeros, right? All right, now let me show you my drill that my wife makes fun of. Um, I think she calls it my Elvish drill because it's got it's got this copper uh, wire that wraps up. Basically, this is a hall sensor, and when I rotate this, there's a magnet, a neodymium magnet, and when it hits that, you see as I rotate that blinks and this counts so that's pretty useful so uh, to wind a bobbin you would just take this quarter inch depending on where you find your bobbins um, put it in the center of that put a nut on there and then put it in the drill. And bobbins are really nice because they got these holes in them, see? And you can start just widening them right up on there. Very cool. Easy way to learn this stuff if you're just getting into making coils and trying to run solenoids. All right, so that's my, that's my first thing. So to make this, you just need a hall sensor and the hall sensor goes back into the Arduino via three pins. I'll try to release the circuit so it makes sense to you. And along with that, the code. But I wanted to show you what it did. That way, uh, when I release that next to the, you know, I have a video right next to it and you can see how it works and that way you can kind of distinguish back and forth on uh, what the code is doing compared to what the hardware is doing and then kind of vice versa. I know that really helps me when I, I come across somebody that's documented something. I want to see a working copy of it and have them walk me through what it does. That way uh, when I look at the code it doesn't look so bad. All right. So, hope you enjoy. Um, i also try to release this along with the spool I got. Uh, and so this is a 3D printed spool holder. And it's got a little hole right there that I made. And this is nice. That all just glues together. Very cool. So I'll try to release that along with everything else in the blog. 
All right. So, wish me luck. I'm about to blog. I actually don't blog at all. I'm terrible at writing. That's why I do videos. But I'm doing a mixed thing of videos and blogging together. Just because uh, that seems to be the way to go. Enjoy.